Hello and welcome to week two of Pavlov Shack Gun of the Week. Following things up from week one, we use the AK-12. Now let's remove it from the section. Take a spin of the wheel and let's see what gun that I'll be using this week. All right, it seems like the gun that I'll be using is the SKS. Let's jump right into Pavlov Shack and let's get started. Starting things off in the rifle's range, you can find the SKS on the rifle's wall. It can be below the scar. And to find it in the buy menu, you just open it up, press rifles, and it'll be right there and it'll cost $2,500. Now, here's a demo of me reloading the gun. You pop out a mag by pressing B and you charge it in, or you can pop it out, insert a new mag, and press B to cho close it up. Now here are some more useful things about this gun. It can support all the attachments, and that does not include the side sight. Now here are all the attachments you can put on it in the buy menu, and here is an attempt of me trying to put on that side sight. It costs $2,500, like I said before. The money per kill is 300 The rounds per mag is 10 The armored penetration is 100%. This gun also has the one-shot headshot potential, meaning that you can kill a person in one shot. This gun takes around three hits to the chest to fully kill a person. And here are some three facts about this gun. One, it does not spawn in gun game. Two, you can take off that scope and use the iron sights. Three, it also has a foldable stock, which is completely useless. Now here are some bad things about this gun. It costs the exact same amount as the AK-47, which is a full auto gun. The best way to use this gun is to put on a vertical grip and shoot as fast as you can since the vertical recoil on this gun will be lowered. And you can also hold it sideways and shoot at a person to fully kill them. Just spam that button and they will die. After leaving the shooting range, I dropped right into an offline mode to deathmatch. I only played for like 5 to 10 minutes to help myself get ready for online modes. For the rest of the week, I can tell my aim has improved on this gun. I've been getting close up, mid range, and far headshots from, from using all the scopes and even the iron sights. I am so happy to get off of this gun to use a new one, and I'll see you in the next week to come of Pavlov Shack Week 3 Gun of the Week. And thank you all for watching.